let's just start at the end. Um, you guys marched down the field with very little time. I think it's seven completions in eight plays, the last one being an acrobatic catch there. Talk me through that play. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, the two-minute drill is something we work in practice every week. So, you know, it's just repetitive stuff. You know, that's something that Coach Fuller really emphasizes because he, he expected to come up big at some point. And would you guess in the last drive of the – the state quarterfinal gets a really good opponent. It comes up, you know, we execute just like we do every week in practice. And, you know, um, I just thank Bill, man, giving me a shot. I told him, if you throw it up and give me a shot, I'm going to do my best to come down with it. And that's what happened. I mean, I, I saw the corner on me. I saw the safety coming over. I just knew the ball was in there. I'm coming down with it because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just playing with heart. Coach Fuller talks to us all the, all the time about, you know, playing with heart, you know, play for one another. And I knew if that ball was up in the air and it's got a shot, I'm coming down with it. You're supposed to be a baseball player, man. What are you doing making acrobatic? Leaping catches, body control in the air, twisting, turning like that. I mean, where does all all that come from? From a guy that we're, we're looking forward to playing a different sport the next level. You know, it came from a young age. I've always, my dad's always told me I've been a natural football player. Uh, you know, just working with my brother all the time. You know, I always thought football just came supernatural to me. I never really, how do I go out and like really work hard at it? It's just something that I've always found fun, and I just been able to go out there and do my thing, and it. Things go good for me. I also want to thank my dad. You know, I did work hard at some points, and he pushed me really hard. You know, keep me going. And you know, I wasn't even really thinking about coming out this year at all. And my dad really pushed for it. And you know, it turns out it's probably one of the best seasons of my career, and I'm, I'm having a blast. So, you've been a part of and seen as well so many crazy games here. I imagine this immediately tops the list. Oh, top of the list, man. I mean, when I saw that ball in the air, dude, there's no feeling when you come down with it. And like you know, you just won your team a playoff quarterfinal game on the last on the last play of the game. I mean, there's no feeling like it. I'm on top of the world right now. What can you say about Daniel and the way that he plays, the way he extends plays, and gives himself and you guys a chance at times when you know things are looking tough. Curtis is kind of clamping down, but just kind of buying that time and making some things happen. I mean, there's a reason that Daniel's the captain of our team and the heart and soul. I mean, he's just a super hard worker, and you know. I mean, that's just that's who Daniel Beal is, what you just saw out there, making plays, extended plays, you know, turning around, flipping his hips, throwing it back across the field, you know, making run plays when he has to. You know, that's just – that's our leader, and he knows what everybody's doing on every play. He's that guy. I mean, UL is getting a fantastic football player, also the best teammate, best player I know. So, you know, I'm, I'm super happy for him, and he's probably the best quarterback in the state, hands down, with the plays he makes.